Hi, this is Dr. Doresti with the Cranial Release Technique. I wanted to do a video following up on a YouTube short that I just completed. And it's a video that I've never done before. I used to discuss it in my private practice with patients, and I would also discuss it with students during the live event. But when you get a moment after you watch this video, maybe dig around and find your old high school graduation picture or your grammar school photos, or even your baby photos. And the reason why I'm asking you to do this is I'd like you to look at yourself in the mirror or maybe even take a snapshot of yourself, do a selfie, or have someone else take a picture of you, ideally with sort of a blank expression, try not to smile, and look at that picture of yourself and look at your eyes and see which eye looks smaller than the other, the right versus left. Look at which eye looks lower than the other, the right versus the left. If you want, you could take your, your thumbs and push them up underneath your cheekbones and you'll see one looks lower than the other. In the world of cranial release, we're always looking for the smaller, tighter, lower side, the side of more contraction, we call it. You could either have a friend do it, or you could just place your fingers in your ears and you'll see one ear is lower than the other, right versus left. Sometimes then the one that's lower is more forward or more backwards. And all of that is just a simple sign of cranial distortion. And maybe now you're 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 or 70, 80 years old looking at this video. And then I want you to pull out your graduation picture, maybe your wedding picture, maybe your grammar school pictures, maybe your baby pictures. And I'm willing to bet you that you will see the same distortion from way back then over the years is to the exact same distortion that you have now. If anything, it's gotten worse, which would make sense. So what's the significance of this? The underlying foundation that I'm functioning under here with cranial release technique is that structure determines function, okay? The reason why a automobile tire is round is the structure is a circle so that the function is to roll so that you can drive your car. Wouldn't work too well if you had square tires clunking along wouldn't make sense to do that. The structure of the cranium is perfect. There are 22 bones that make up the cranial. The cranial shell, the cranial, uh, the cranium, the head, whatever word you like to use. When those bones shift out of alignment, which they do virtually on everyone, the second part, that's the structure, What's the function? Well, the function is obviously to give protection to what's inside the skull, the brain, the most delicate organ in the body. But in addition to that, the structure is designed to allow for all 22 bones to move very gently. Millimeters of movement, but yet it has to move. When that structure is distorted, and you see one eye small, one eye low, one cheek low, ears rotated, one ear low. When you see that, and you can look at yourself and your friends and your family, your wife, your children, your husband, mom, dad, today, you can do that. You have to then assume if the structure is distorted, the function has to be distorted. And then the question comes, well, what about you and your own personal health history? What's troubling you? Is it a physical issue? Aches, pains, sprains, strains, disc issues, all the things that you've heard about. Musculoskeletal type problems. Things wrong with the organs. This isn't working right. I'm on medication for that. That's not working right. I'm on medication for that. Structure determines function. 
So we have the musculoskeletal system. We have the organ system. We have all the tissues. We have all the hormones. Maybe there's a hormonal imbalance. Maybe it's menstrual issues. Maybe it's prostate issues. Maybe it's thyroid issues. What about the whole mental emotional aspect of life? The ability to handle mental emotional stresses. Problems at home, the problems on the job, the problems with money, the problems with relationships, the problems with the wife, the problems with the husband, the problems with the children, the problems with the parents. All the things that we need to deal with every day as a human being on planet Earth in 2023. And then the question is, how do you handle it? We notice some people handle things better than others. Do you have anxiety? Do you suffer with panic attacks? Do you have phobias? And the list goes on and on and on and on and on about different things. The point of my story is over the last 20 plus years in using the cranial release technique, I've seen patients virtually come in with anything you could probably imagine. And they have told me that with the cranial release technique, they have experienced improvement, sometimes complete remission, but certainly improvement. Now, I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a endocrinologist. I'm not a internal medicine doctor. I'm a chiropractor who does this thing called cranial release because I know that if the structure is distorted at the cranial level, the function throughout the entire body has to be distorted as well. You may not have symptoms yet. You may never get symptoms. Great. The problem is if you're going around with a distorted cranium, there's no way that the body can function optimally. And the cranial release technique is all about optimizing function. That's what it's all about. How do I optimize my function? Well, in the old days, in chiropractic school, we always learned you need proper rest. Yes, you do. Cranial release will help you sleep better. You need exercise. You need fresh air. You need good nutrition, sunshine. All the common sense things that grandma told you about. We're just going back to basics here. The one thing that everyone has missed, in my opinion, is the structure of the cranium and how that distorted structure of the cranium and you can look at it by looking in the mirror or taking a, a, a selfie of yourself and looking at the distortion and then go back to those baby pictures or those high school graduation pictures. And that same stress pattern has been there and has been building and building and building. And maybe that's one of the reasons why you're not optimizing your function. You're not functioning at your best. Trying to just keep this as simple as I can. But it is that simple. It's a very simple concept. Optimal function at the cranium. Optimal function of the brain and spinal cord. Optimal function throughout the body. You have a better life in every aspect of your life. In the ability that you handle stress. The ability to do your job your ability to be in a relationship, your ability to be a parent, your ability to relate to your parents, your ability to relate to society and all the ups and downs about society. Every aspect of what makes you you is dependent on your central nervous system. And we want to optimize that function. That's it in a nutshell. If you're watching this on YouTube, Please visit the like, share, subscribe buttons. Hit those all. Send these to friends and family. Feel free to share this on your social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you use. Be my guest. You have my permission. We want to get this work out there. You might have a friend sitting out there in Phoenix, Arizona that's going through terrible troubles, is looking for help, and maybe there's a practitioner there that could help them. That's what this is all about. It's about helping people. That's why I started this. That's why I teach this. And on that note, if you are a practitioner or you know a practitioner that's open to more holistic way of thinking and, and helping patients, regardless of the title after their name, 
Tell them about the site. Send them this video. Let them go to cranialrelease.com, the website. They can click on the button called Online Training Program, and they can learn the cranial release technique in their home or office, and they can start using this with patients and clients, and they can start helping people at a very, very deep level. It's very gentle. It's very simple. It takes all of a minute to do. And it's something that should be done on a regular basis to optimize function. Because as soon as you visit me and I deliver a CRT to you, I give you the cranial release. We get up, great, you feel better, you're more balanced, you're more relaxed, you, you're just feeling very comfortable. You're going back out into the real world, back into the physical, chemical, emotional stresses that hit us all. And I need to see you again in a few days or in a few weeks, depending on how you handle stress. And we're just going to keep optimizing your health. You'd never think about buying a new car. I hate to use this example, but I'll use it. You'd never think about going and buying a brand new car. And the service manager, the salesman gives you the whole maintenance schedule, the preventative maintenance, change the oil, rotate the tires, tune up the car, do all this, do all that. And if you just took that and threw it in the garbage and just did what you want to do, you know the life of your car is definitely not going to function as well as if you followed the recommended guidelines from the manufacturer. Well, <laughs> I wish we had a button right here that said, it's time for a CRT and it would light up. Unfortunately, I haven't developed that yet, but maybe it'll come in the future. Who knows? It'd be nice that if people would come in at a minimum once a month for a cranial release technique, once a month would make a dramatic difference. I probably get worked on, if not daily, two to three times a week. Not because I'm sick, not because I have health trouble, but because I want to optimize function. And even now, after thousands of CRTs that I personally have received, I still receive benefit. I still feel better, more relaxed. I can breathe better. I sleep better. I can exercise better. I'm more flexible. I digest my food better. Every function is improved with regular cranial release technique care. This is Dr. Duresti with the cranial release, wishing you a wonderful day, hoping to see you down the road. See you over at the website, cranialrelease.com. Order a free report. Check on the online training program. <laughs> Don't forget, take a look at those baby pictures or take a look at those baby pictures of your children and look at them today. You, without any experience, will be able to see, gee, that right eye has been small since we took that baby picture three days after birth, and now you're 15 years old, that right eye is still small. Maybe on the next video, I'm going to connect the dots between that small eye, that low ear, that, that lower eye, that smaller eye, and problems throughout the rest of your body, secondary to that cranial distortion. But that's another chapter that maybe we'll get into the next time. This is Dr. Duresti. Adios, my friends. I'm at 13 minutes. That's too long. See you soon. Be well. Cranialrelease.com. Adios. Goodbye.